empty and boarded up. Devastating news for a local business during the last minute rush for holiday gifts. The cause of all of this? A fire. It happened at the New Dime store in Brookside. 41 Anxious reporter Sarah Plague shares what happened and how the community is showing support. The new dime store is closed during its busiest time of year, but this story shows that community support makes all the difference. The new dime store in Brookside is just one of those places. It's nostalgic. It has just about anything you could need at any given time, and it's been around since 1939. I walk in the door and I was like, I'm never leaving this place. That's just how I felt. And so that's when it, it all started. Kim Harris and her husband bought the store in 2011. Every holiday season, the store is busy with loyal shoppers. This is like the final week of the Christmas push. People wanting to come in and just get those last minute. I need a couple, I just need one more thing. Mm -hmm. You know, one more thing turns into 10 more things. But after a fire Tuesday morning, the store is now closed and the smell of smoke still lingers. So missing that last minute Christmas push is killing me right now. Kim wasn't there when the fire started, but her neighbors at the Brookside Barbershop and the jewelry store didn't think twice about quickly jumping in to help. Called 911, I took a hammer and broke out the window, and the girls started filling up uh, trash cans with water, and we started pouring that on the fire. And then uh, Carl Kuda, the jeweler, he came out with the fire extinguisher and started spraying the fire while we were pouring the water on it. Fire officials told her it's possible that the sunlight hit an object in the display window just right to cause all of this. On top of the fire, she says her sales are already down 30% this year due to COVID. The Brookside business community created a GoFundMe to help her reopen. It's already surpassed the $5,000 goal. We all stick together down here, look out for each other. I've been here 18 years, so you know we know all the store owners and all the employees and stuff. People have been stopping by, giving her gift cards to buy dinner or to say how sorry they are and how much they love the store. It's almost too much. It's too much. <laughs> but I'm grateful. So I understand what it means to people. Um, and I, I want to do my best to keep it going and be here for them so they can still have that feeling for generations and generations to come. Kim is now busy sifting through all of that smoke damage inventory, but she hopes to reopen by next week. I'm Sarah Blake, 41 Action News.